Hey everyone, this is Julian and Danny. Oh, hi, I'm Danny. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this I thought you were going to introduce me to them. No, I'm not going to. You, you have to introduce yourself. You're you're grown up now. Hey, fuck you! I thought you were going to introduce me. Damn. Okay. But hi guys, I'm Danny. I'm Julian's friend. Yes, we've been friends for a very long time, and we decided that we wanted to start a podcast on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So, for this first episode, we have some questions to go through, just to get to know us and stuff. Alright, so Danny, what is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? I'm gonna go forest green. That's a good color, that's a good color. Or, actually no, swamp green. Forest green is too green. Swamp green is like a nice muted... What about you, Julian? What's your favorite color? That's a good answer. I like, um, I like, I like blue, but like that shade of blue that, <laughs> um, if you guys know Blue Hour, like that nice dark blue that the sky becomes in the afternoon, um, during the winter, that that's my favorite time of, kind of blue. It's very specific. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. blue? Yeah, 4 p.m. blue. More like 5 or 6 p.m. blue now, but yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but like early winter. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what is your favorite food? Ooh, grilled chicken or tiramisu. What about you? That's a good one. I like stir fry. Stir fry is so good. Oh, that stir fry is good. Here's the question. What is your mom's maiden name? My mom's maiden name? And what are the last three digits on your credit card? Well, I can answer that for you right now on this podcast, but I would love to not do that. Um, Sorry, guys. What, what is your uh, What is your favorite season? Oh, I gotta go winter. It's uh, such a good season. You know, um, I don't know. I, I, I like the whole vibe. What about you, Julian? What is your favorite season? I like winter too, to be honest. I like when the temperature is low. I like going outside in the cold more than I do in the heat. Um, so val- that's so valid. Yeah, it's it's just a lot more refreshing, honestly. Uh, what is your refreshing? Refreshing, yeah. Never, never heard of refreshing used to describe winter. I don't know. Just cold is more refreshing, you know. Sure. Whatever you say. Okay. Um, what is your favorite movie? Hmm. Hmm. That is a that is a really tough question. If you want, you can have like a few favorite movies. Uh. Well, I like Whiplash. Whiplash is pretty good. Love Actually, Whiplash. I've, I've lied. I've never seen Whiplash. I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, that's why we gotta watch it. Uh, Full Metal Jacket by Stanley Kubrick. Amazing movie. Uh, Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Love Ratatouille. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my top three. What about you, Julian? Well, I'd have to say, um, one of my favorite movies, I really liked Scott Pilgrim. I feel like a lot of people really like it, though, so, I don't know. Um, I also really like, um, I like the movie Nine by Tim Burton. That one was a good one. Oh yeah, you love uh, you love, oh, yeah. You like Tim Burton. You you never watched Nine before, have you? Never watched Nine I ever think, in my life. I think that you should watch it. It was actually really cool. Mm. Um. You know, you know, fun fact about uh, Tim Burton. Yeah, what's that? And uh, Michael Keaton or Keegan, uh, you know, the black guy <laughs> who's on who's on Keaton and Peele. Uh. They both have something in common. They both only uh, cast actors of their race. Like, Tim Burton only casts white people, and Keegan Mike Keels, whatever his name is, only casts uh, black people. Really? Yeah, because um, yeah, cause, uh, cause those races mostly play into both of their stories that they tell. I don't think I've ever seen a black person in a Tim Burton movie. Because Tim Burton does... Cause yeah, Jim Burton doesn't put a black person in his movies. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I... Yeah, that's really interesting. I actually never knew that. But, uh... What do you do? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, do you like books, and what is your favorite book? I do like books, and my favorite book is what I'm reading right now, The King in Yellow. It's a good, uh, good horror book about cosmic horror, if any of you like that. And I would highly recommend it. One of the characters, uh, one of the characters for Sucker in Sucker for Love, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite games actually, is inspired by the King in Yellow. What about you, Julian? Do you like reading? I don't normally like reading, but my favorite book is probably. Oh my god, I don't know. Of Mice and Men, maybe. I don't know if Of Mice and Men was my favorite book. I think I liked uh, Far North a lot better. What the, um, what the heck is Far North? Far North is about these guys who get stranded in the Canadian wilderness. And Far North, more like Far North. Am I right, guys? We need to put like a laughing track there or something. <laughs> Just to show you, like you need to laugh at that point, but no one's going to laugh. Yeah. Um, Let's continue. Yeah, so, what is your favorite video game? Oh, well, that is, uh, that is actually one of the hardest questions you've ever asked me. Um, I don't know. I mean, I love Fallout New Vegas. I've played it so many times. And I love Skyrim. But I also love Borderlands. And I love Shadow of War. I'm so, like, I don't know, I have, like, uh, my top five, and those are basically the four... Then for fifth, uh, let me check my game library real quick. That's a good idea. Uh, oh, bah, 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 bah. uh, The Wolf Among Us. The Wolf Among Us is is uh is one of the best Telltale games I've ever played, and I want his Bigby Wolf for Halloween. What about you, Julian? What are your top five favorite video games or just your favorite video game? My top five favorite video games, um, in no particular order is, um, I would say Minecraft because I have like 3,000 hours on it. Uh, yeah. We have, we have Dead Cells. Um, another Do you one. you have a lot of hours on? Yeah, I also have like a lot of hours on that. Um, I'm, I'm just going to count it the franchise. I really like The Legend of Zelda. Um, I think another one of my favorite games would have to be uh, Inside um, by Playdead. It is such a, Ooh. It, it's a really beautiful game. I've never heard of it. I'll have to play it sometime. Yeah, um, you can actually find it on a Game Pass, I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice. And, and you know, Jordan, I feel like for our uh, next episode, we should play. Uh, we should actually play a game together and show these guys. That sounds like Let's a play. great idea. Yeah, like maybe we should play uh you know that you know that game a way out? Yeah, yeah, we can play that. Yeah, you know the one about the prisoners escaping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that I wanted to play that one time, but you said you hated it. Okay, you don't have to get that salty about it. But do you remember that though? Yes, I do, but you don't have to rub it in my And look face. who changed their mind, okay, huh? Okay, look, I I we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll keep it at games for that for now for me. Um, but who is your video game crush, Danny? Huh, that's hard. I gotta go with Moe's from Borderlands 3. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like Power. I think Power is hot. And, you know, she has a mech suit, a good personality, unlike Amara. I don't know. What about you? Oh, uh, that's a good answer. Good answer right there. Um, I would say my video game crush has to be uh, Urbosa from Breath of the Wild because, yeah, she she's also very strong and she she's just very hot and yeah. That's a that's a good choice. That that is a good choice. She definitely is hot. I don't, I like the. Uh... I like the uh, the ladies and like the fountains in Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, the the fairy ladies. Yeah, they're they're fucking giant. Yeah, um, and whenever you upgrade their clothes, they get um, more and more intimate with you. Yeah, and then one just openly has sex with you. Yeah. 
You know, actually, I also like uh, the girl from uh, Elden Ring. You know, the one with like the missing eye. Oh yeah, um, I'm really bad with Elden Ring names, so. I um, also like the one with the, all the arms, who's like blue. You know who I'm talking about? Blue arm, Elden Ring lady. Let's see her name. Rena. Yeah, yeah, the witch. I know who you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, Rena and uh, the one with the missing eye. Missing eye, Elden Ring lady. Uh. Yeah, M Milen uh, Milena, Melena, Melena, Melenia. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I like her. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So that's that's cool. Uh. Now, Danny, is water wet? Yes, water's wet. Now tell me why water's wet. Because you're wrong. Well, here's the thing. When water it touches something, it makes it wet, right? Yeah. Now, Julian, does fire burn you? Yeah. So, boom. Water's <laughs> wet, fire burns you. So, if water is wet, then fire must burn. No, if fire burns you, then water must be wet. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But it does, though, because the two are basically the same. They're, they're different sides of the same coin, all right? They're both basic things in, um, well, existence. And they both make things wet or burn. And water, when you touch it, you get wet, correct? Yeah. <laughs> and when you drink water... Your throat gets more wet. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. When you and when you take a shower, you get wet. And yeah. when you touch water, it feels wet. Correct? It feels wet? Yeah. Because Julian, how can water be dry, huh? Water's I'm not saying that water's dry. Yeah. But if it's not wet, then what is it? Hmm? It's water. Hmm? Yeah, and water is wet. What, Joan? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Do you think water is wet, or um, uh, I'm or um, or are you like a sheeple? <laughs> okay, no, no, huh? no. I'm just gonna say this right now. That speech made no sense with like the fire Makes... and the water thing. You were. It make no sense. You make no sense. Uh, okay, Danny. But um, so I. Think... You're trans. I'm not trans. I know. But um, if you were, that'd be okay. I, I appreciate that. Thanks, Danny. Um, of course. So, yeah, um, I don't think that water is necessarily wet. It makes things wet. Um, and also, with the whole fire thing, you you dug yourself into a giant hole there. Like, How did I dig myself into a giant hole? Huh? Because water and fire are nowhere similar. They're not, like, complete opposites either. Like, when fire burns things, that's just because fire burns things. Fire makes things hot. And water makes things wet. Yeah, but those are two different things. You just said yes, it does. No, 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 no. Yes, I said water is wet, and you said yeah. No, 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 you said water makes things wet. That's true, water does make no, things wet. No, I said wet. water is wet, too. I thought that you said that water makes things wet. No, I said water's wet. Well, and if I, I said water I... makes things wet, then say that. All right, you know what, people in the comments, what did I say, huh? Did I say water makes things wet, or did I say water's wet? I don't think that the comments need to tell us that, but editing me... Was no, 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 they can tell us, they can tell us. Editing me right now, put in what he said, and if I was wrong or not. All right, back to the whatever. Julian was right. Danny did say, water makes things wet, which is true, and then I agreed with him, and I said, yes, water does make things wet. I never agreed to the statement, water is wet. There you go. Um, who was your hero, Danny? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have I don't one? Know, actually, maybe my dad, he's um, cool. That's cool, that's cool. Or maybe Bob from Bob's Burgers. 
Bob from Bob, Bob from Bob Burgers. That's a cool answer. Or Captain America. Actually, not Superman. That's a good hero. Yeah, inspires me. What about you, Join? Who's your hero? I think I'd also have to say my dad. I, I admire him and look up to him a lot. He, he is a good man. Yeah. And, um... I love the S-Dog. The S-Dog. Yeah. Someone's saying his name. My dad is very active on social media. I'm sure that he wouldn't mind a little shout-out. Yeah. All right, guys. Follow, um... Julian... All right. I'm going to pull up my dad's Instagram. Everyone follow Stars, Films, and Photos on Instagram. He's a um, great man. Yeah, he is a great man, and he's my dad. And he deserves um, attention on social media. I respect him. Yeah, and then um, I appreciate that. Thanks, Danny. Of um, course. So, who is your favorite band? And uh, it doesn't have to be by the band, but what is your favorite song? Uh well I don't well I don't have a favorite song but I do have a couple of favorite bands if you want me to say those yeah sure go on uh the, um and this is not in order uh the Doors the Beatles the Mountain Goats the Misfits uh ch- 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 uh um uh, did I say the Beatles yeah all right well I also like Duke Ellington Frank Sinatra and um Chet Baker what about you Join? Let me pull up Spotify. Um, all right, so we're gonna. I was like the guy who makes the Spirited Away songs, even though all the songs sound the same. <laughs> um, like the guy. Hmm? Like, all right, all right, all right, guys, listen. All right, guys, listen. Okay, check out the guy who made like basically like all the songs for Studio Ghibli. Swear to God. All the songs start start with the same like few chords on, on the piano. Like like look it up. Right. Like pause the video. Um actually no, you know actually no, don't pause the video. Alright, finish the video and then see what I'm talking about. Okay. Alright, see so, yeah, um uh go look at Danny's opinion there. And uh, it's probably true, honestly. Uh it, it is. <laughs> My I listen favorite... I listen I... I know you go first. Oh, um, my favorite bands are, uh, I'm gonna say Shinedown. We're gonna go, uh, Baby Metal. I like Baby Metal. Uh, is, is that, is, is that a band or a genre? No, Baby Metal. It's, it sounds like a, I'm pretty sure there is a genre called Baby Metal, but there's also just Baby Metal as a band. Hmm. Um, and, uh, I also like, uh, you know, like Slipknot, uh, and a kind of unpopular thing that I saw was, uh, Pizza Hotline. They're pretty cool. Um, they don't have a lot of monthly listeners, but if you want to check them out, yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, but yeah, those are my favorite bands and my favorite song. Um, I would have to say, um... Pyro by Shinedown. That one's good. Oh, that is a good one. I've never heard of it, but it sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, um, we are going to get into um, just a few more questions here. Danny, what do you like more? TikTok or Instagram Reels? Oh, Instagram Reels for sure. I do too. I love Instagram Reels so so much. Yeah. Like, one of the, like, like, honestly, and here's the thing. All right, like I'll see something that's like the stupidest thing ever. And, like TikTok is just like, oh my god, yes, you're so cool for that. Like, no, they're not. But Instagram Reels will like openly say like, you are dumb, you're an idiot. Yeah, that's the thing. Because whenever I'm on TikTok, all I get are sponsorships and just like random stuff. But when I go on Instagram Reels, I can see like seven car crashes. Like, five wild animal attacks. And then any comment section with, like, a disabled person in the video will be, like, the meanest thing ever. It's a lot more entertaining. And then you also have the ones with, like, you also have the videos with, like, the kids and stuff. Yeah, And yeah. all the comments are, like, the nastiest thing you could say to a kid. Um, yeah, but, like, in, yeah. But yeah, I would go Instagram Reels. I am a firm believer in Instagram Reels. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, me too, me too. Um, oh, oh, and also the problem with TikTok is that I can't is that I can't go into TikTok and open my for you page without seeing like some person like try and plug their like lives. It's like, guys, I don't blink. I never blink. But then I go on their live and guess what this motherfucker's doing? Blinking. Blinking. Blinking like blink one blinking like blink fucking one eighty two, whatever the that name is. I, I honestly don't know what it is either. What is Blink-182? You know, like the emo band. Oh, the emo band. That's why I don't know it. Yeah, they're like, um... My friends and I go at the mall. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good impression. Thanks, I know I'm awesome at them. Anyways, Julian, run up the next question. Alright, Danny, actually no, this time you ask a question. Alright. Cats or dogs, Julian? Cats or dogs, cats. Same here, same here. You know, I have a better question. Better exactly. question than that, because that, that question, but too basic for you. Yeah. All right. Say you're driving a trolley, right? Mm-hmm. And on the tracks, there's three people you know and mm-hmm. ten people you don't know. Uh-huh. Which one are you running over? I'm going to run over the 10 random people. Hmm. That's I think because, nice. you know, I, I know those people and I probably care about them, so. Well, yeah, but at the same time, there's there's more lives at stake, though. Well, yeah, but those are 10 random people. No, I just care about them. Anyways. Anyways, here's another question. Would you rather... Be a homeless person in New York City in modern day times, or be a caveman, or be a caveman from like the BC. No, Julian from modern. Yes, from BC. <laughs> um, I feel like being a caveman would be a lot more fun because you see, cavemen get to go like hunting and they get to go like, you know, they do homeless food. people. But the homeless people hunting in modern times, so it's like them trying to steal a sandwich from someone. <laughs> them trying to kill a rat. Yeah, that, that sounds a lot less present, pleasant than trying to, like, kill a dinosaur or something. I don't know, man. A guy's gotta eat. A guy's gotta eat? You're gonna eat a rat on the streets? I mean, hey, if I was homeless, maybe. Who knows? I gotta cook with my hobo fire. All the homeless people in the comments, please tell us if you eat rats. Yeah. Uh, homeless people, please tell us if you eat rats. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna ignore what I said there. Um. Uh, I don't know, but comment section, uh, people in the comments, you guys should ask us questions that we can cover on our next uh, on our next video. Yeah, Q and A. Our next video together. Yeah, exactly. We can do a Q&A. You guys ask us any question, uh, and we will try to answer it to the best of our ability. Yeah, perfect. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this podcast. Me and Danny here, we're going to be doing some more episodes. We're going to be doing some more stuff together on this channel. But, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you so and, much for watching this. Yeah. And, guys, if you guys want more Danny, just say in the comments section that you want more Danny. And then more Danny, I will deliver. Yeah. I will come. Okay. Not, uh, okay, that's not, a, I will, I, I will, uh, I will appear as much as you guys want. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys. And, uh, I will be on here next time. See ya.